The testing rig is now starting to apply vertical loads to the specimen and the beam starts to deflect. Then quite suddenly we have an explosive failure near a support. This is what we call a shear failure and it is something that we always want to avoid. If we slow down the footage, here is that failure again. Look how sudden it is. Now remember, this is a beam in which we have left out the shear reinforcement and this is the consequence. In figure A, makikita natin yung shear failure sa beam when stirrup or shear reinforcement is not provided. And in figure B, is the shear failure of the beam with stirrup or shear reinforcement. Without stirrup, walang pipigil sa concrete from splitting due to diagonal tension. Pinipigilan ng stirrup na mag-split yung concrete lalo na kung inilagay natin na magkakadikit-dikit yung stirrup. From this comparison, makikita na natin agad yung importance ng shear reinforcement. Now, let's proceed in the NSCP 2010 code na gagamitin naman natin for the design of shear reinforcement. In section 422.5 are the provision for one-way shear strength. Reduction factor BN is equal to BU, wherein reduction factor is equal to 0.75 for shear in NSCP 2010. The nominal one-way shear strength at a section BN shall be calculated by BN is equal to BC plus BS. BN is the nominal shear strength, BU is the factor shear force at section considered, BS is the nominal shear strength provided by the shear reinforcement or stirrups, BC is the nominal shear strength provided by the shear concrete. Next is the provision for the shear strength provided by the concrete. For members subjected to shear and flexure only, BC is equal to 0 0.17 lambda square root of F prime C BWD. For members with significant axial compression, BC is equal to 0 0.17 1 plus NU over 14 AG lambda square root of F prime C BWD. And for members with significant axial tension, BC is equal to 0 0.17 1 plus NU over 3.5 AG lambda square root of F prime C BWD. Now, yung value ng lambda is nagbabari siya depende sa type ng concrete. Lambda is equal to 0 0.75 for all lightweight concrete. Lambda is equal to 0 0.85 for sun lightweight concrete. And next, lambda is equal to 1.0 for normal weight concrete. Usually, yung value ng lambda na ginagamit natin is 1.0 because normal weight concrete lang naman yung madalas natin ginagamit. NU is the factored axial force normal to the cross section. To be taken as positive for compression and negative for tension. And AG is the gross area of the section. And next are the provision for the design of shear reinforcement. When the value of BU is less than the value of 0 0.50 reduction factor BC, shear reinforcement is not needed. But when the value of BU exceeds the value of 0 0.50 reduction factor BC but less than the value of reduction factor BC, Minimum value of shear reinforcement shall be computed as 0.062 square root of F prime C BWS over FYT, but shall not be less than the value of 0.35 BWS over FYT. And last, when the value of BU exceeds the value of reduction factor BC, the value of BS shall be taken as AB FYT D over S. Take note that the shear strength BS shall not be taken greater than the value of 0.66 square root of F prime C BWD. In such case, where the value of BS exceeds the value of 0.66 square root of F prime C BWD, kailangan natin i-redesign yung section. FYT is the yield strength of the transverse reinforcement. Another term for stirrup is transverse reinforcement. AB is the area of the shear reinforcement within the spacing. And last are the spacing limits of shear reinforcement. Spacing S of shear reinforcement placed perpendicular to axis of members shall not exceed D over 2 in non-pre-stressed members nor 600. So yung value ng S natin ay hindi pwede mag-exceed ng value ng D over 2 or ng 600. Next is when the value of BS exceeds 0 0.33 square root of F prime C BWD, maximum spacing given by the above limits shall be reduced by one half. 
So when the value of Bs is greater than 0.33 square root of f prime c bwd, yung maximum limit natin ng spacing ay hindi pwede mag-exceed ng d over 4 or 300. To better understand yung code na idiniscuss ko sa video na to, please watch yung video ng mga sample problem for sure.